Good morning, everybody. This is Appa Bryant and Appa Baseball Classics bringing to you game number 126 of the King of the Hill tournament. We took a walk through baseball history this summer, and we're coming down to the end. As soon as the 2022 Astros drop a game, we'll go right into the King of the Hill World Series. So today, the 2022 Houston Astros opponents, the 2019 New York Yankees can only play the role of spoiler. They cannot, they will not continue as part of the King of the Hill tournament. Here are your starting lineups for today's game. For the Yankees, Gardner, Urshela, Judge, LeMahieu, Torres, Encarnacion, Sanchez, Mabin, and Hicks. J. Happ is the pitcher for New York. He is a grade C Y pitcher. For the Houston Astros, Pena, Brantley, Altuve, Alvarez, Tucker, Bregman, Guriel, McCormick, and Maldonado. And Luis Garcia is on the mound for Houston. He's a grade C X pitcher. We're at the fourth spot in the pitching rotation. We'll be playing basic APA, but also considering the splits at the bottom of the cards, left right splits. If you're negative, if you're negative or plus three to seven, uh, the uh, pitcher's grade will be moved one level. Eight to 12, it'll be moved two levels. Negative, it favors the pitcher, the pitcher's grade would go up. And if it's positive, it favors the batter, the pitcher's grade would go down. Garcia is a righty. Uh, Brett Gardner steps into the box. He's left-handed, so he's plus two against right-handers. That's quite. That's not enough to change the pitcher's grade. But here we go. Brett Gardner jumps the first pitch and he hits it on the ground to the shortstop Jeremy Pena. The throw to first. One out. Number is a uh, Giovanni Urshela, three fourteen with twenty one homers. Twenty four is a swing and a miss. Strike three. First strikeout for Luis Garcia from Bolivar, Venezuela. Here's Aaron Judge. Swing and a miss, strike three for Aaron Judge. Three up and three down for Garcia. We go to the bottom of the first. Nothing, nothing. All right, J.F. completes his warm-up tosses. He was 12-8 in 2019. Here's the pitch to Jeremy Pena. 24 is a swing and a miss, four strike three. Here's... Michael Brantley. All right, Brantley's a negative four, so that will change J. Happ to a grade B pitcher and 39.9 is a base hit for Michael Brantley. In case we're raising the grade, uh, hurt the pitcher. Jose Altuve, 6'2, is a 22. And that's Kerplunk. J. Happ hits Altuve. Astros have first and second, one down for Jordan Alvarez. That's a swing and a miss for strike three. Two strikeouts for J. Happ, and he is in a little trouble, but one out away from escaping. Here's Kyle Tucker, 257 with 30 homers. 1-5 is a 11. Line drive over the head of LeMahieu. In the right field, Brantley scores from second. Altuve goes to third, and Tucker has an RBI single. It's one to nothing. Houston. Brings up Alex Bregman. Jay Happ appears in for his sign. Here's the pitch. There goes Tucker. And he is safe at second base. Stolen base, second and third, Houston. Yankees, of course, playing the infield back with two outs. The pitch to Bregman, 6-1. Pop up high in the air, out back at first base, and Carcion is on it and makes the catch. That's the end of the inning. Astros score 1-1 one, one on two hits. Go to the top of the second, Houston 1, and the Yankees nothing. Our DJ LeMahieu will lead off for... New York in the top of the first, 41, is a ground ball to shortstop. Pena throws out DJ. One gone in the second inning. 
Here's Glebor Torres, 38 homers. 4-6 is a swing and a miss for the third strikeout. Garcia has struck out three Yankees. Here is Edwin Encarnacion. 6-4 is a swing and a miss. Four strikeouts for Garcia. And he has retired the first six Yankees. We go to the bottom of the second inning. one nothing Houston. Yaski Gurniel leads off for the Astros, and he gets a 5-5 roll, plus three against Hap. So Hap is a deep pitcher, and that's going to be a short base hit for Yulioski Gurriel. Third hit already for the Astros. Here's Chase McCormick. He moves it, uh, the line uh, two, well, two grades, but he's already a C, so it'll be a deep pitcher pitching to McCormick. 5-2 is hit on the ground. To third base, the Yankees are feeling calm, too. I need another dice roll on this result. Ground ball to Urshela, who throws to LeMahieu at second. The relay to first is not in time. McCormick is safe at first. Fielder's choice. All right, here's Martin Maldonado playing in the project for the first time. He gets a 3-3 roll. Hit column roll for Maldonado. 45. There's a ball hit into the left center field gap. McCormick will score from first. Maldonado stops at second with an RBI double. It's the Astros two and the Yankees nothing. So only one out. Here is top of the order in Jeremy Pena. Struck out his first time. 53-18. Ground ball to the shortstop Torres who misses it for an error. E6. Malnado stops at third. First and third, Houston. Yankees will play the infield double play depth for Michael Brantley. Brantley strikes out. Two gone. And now Jose Altuve, 300 with 28 home runs. And that player result has a Y. Hap's got the wide strikeout modifier, so it's strike three to Altuve, ending the inning. One run on two hits. Top of the third is 2 nothing Astros. All right, Gary Sanchez leads off for the Yankees on top of the third. They're looking for their first base runner. Five fives and eight. Garcia against a C, and that's going to be their first base runner for the Yankees. A base hit for Gary Sanchez. Slow runner, I'll play it safe with my slow runners on the base pass, unless I say otherwise. Here's Cameron Maven, Yankee center fielder. 3-2 roll is a 26. All right, Maven's good. Here's a ground ball to second base. I'll take charging in to get it. His only play is to first. Sanchez goes to second, and Maven is out at first. One down. Now the Yankee DH, Aaron Hicks. 3-6 is a 33. That has an X strikeout by the result, and Garcia's got the X. That's a strikeout for Aaron Hicks. You turn back to the dugout. Five strikeouts already for Luis Garcia. But Gardner, Gardy has a chance to drive in a run. In, it's in scoring position. 42 is a swing and a miss. Six strikeout for Garcia. And we go to the bottom of the third. Astros 2, Yankees 0. Alvarez, Tucker, and Bregman do up in the bottom of the third for Houston. 6-2 roll is a swing and a miss, strike 3. Alvarez strikes out for the second time. Kyle Tucker. That's a strikeout caught looking. And suddenly, Jay Happ has got his strikeout ball working. He has struck out the last four four Astros. Five strikeouts on the game. Two gone here is Alex Bregman. That's a fly ball lifted to right field. Aaron Judge is under it and makes the catch. Three up and three down for the Strohs. We go to the top of the four. Two nothing, New York. All right, Gio Urshela will lead off for the Yankees. He's currently a Los Angeles Angel, but he was having a good year this year, hitting 299 
But in June, he fractured his left pelvis. He'll be out for the rest of the season. Here's a pitch to Urshela. 4-1 is a ground ball to shortstop. Pena picks up the bouncer and throws to Gurriel at first. Ball away. Here's Aaron Judge. Swing and a miss by Judge. He strikes out for the second time. Two outs. And here is DJ LeMayhew. 2-2 two, 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 roll for LeMayhew. That's a line drive over the head of Pena and retrieved by the left fielder Brantley. Base hit for DJ LeMayhew. He's on first with two outs. Labor Torres representing the potential tie and run. Glebor Torres reps a single up the middle. LeMayhew holds it second. First and second Yankees. Here is Encarnacion. Encarnacion lifts a fly ball to left field. Brantley's got it under control. Picks it out of the sky. And that's the end of the Yankee threat. But they do get two hits. Bottom of the fourth, 2 0 Astro. All right, Ulysses Gurriel leads off for Houston. 26 is a bouncer to the third baseman. Torres throws across the diamond for the out. Chaz McCormick. He is 0 for 6 in the series, looking for his first base hit. 1 5. Ball hit hard on the ground and through the 6.5 hole for a base hit for Chaz McCormick, his first hit. Here is Martin Maldonado, who doubled in a run in the second inning. And Maldonado gets a base hit. McCormick will hold it second. Maldonado, not known for his stick, is two for two in the dent game. Here is Jeremy Pena. One gone, two on for Houston. Pitch taken for a ball, ball four. There's been a lot of traffic against Jay Happ, and there's only two batters away from his fatigue. And he's going to come out of the game already. Yankees are going to go to the bullpen and bring in Zach Britton, great AC pitcher. Does have a W letter. That's kind of a problem when the bases are full. Yankees will play the infield at double play depth. Michael Brantley is the batter. Can Michael Brantley put a key in the merry-go-round? Here's the pitch, 6-3. High fly ball, medium depth center field. Cameron Mayburn is under it. And Chad McCormick at third tags and scores. Sacrifice fly for Michael Brantley. Other runners hold. There's two outs. And it is now 3 to nothing. Houston. Jose Altuve steps into the box. Here's the pitch. Ball four. Sacks loaded again. Maldonado at third, Pena's at second, and Altuve at first. Better is Jordan Alvarez. He could blow a hole in this game. Here we go. 4-2 rolls, a base on balls. RBI for Alvarez. 4 to nothing. Houston. Here's Kyle Tucker. And Kyle Tucker hits a... Nothing. He doesn't hit it. It's got a wide strikeout modifier, so Tucker strikes out. That's the inning, but the Astros add two on two hits. Top of the fifth inning, it's Houston four and the Yankees nothing. All right, top of the fifth inning. So far, the Astros have had more base runners, or more runs, actually, than the Yankees have had base runners. Gary Sanchez leads off for New York. 3-6 is a... Little sh short, excuse me, pop up on the infield. Altuve coming in and makes the catch. Sanchez is out. One out. There's Cameron Mabin. 6 2 is a swing and a miss. Strike three, two outs. And Aaron Hicks. Fly to left. Yankees just can't get anything going. Bottom of the fifth, we're halfway through. Houston for Yankees nothing. New pitcher for the Yankees is Luis Sessa from Veracruz, Mexico. C pitcher with Y modifier, he's facing Alex Bregman. 2-2 roll for Bregman. That's a hit column roll for Bregman. Bregman barrels it up and gets it into the gap in the left center field. Leadoff double for Alex Bregman. 
That's the seventh Astro hit in the game. Ulysses Guriel is the batter. One four is a fly to left. Bregman holds it second. Here's Chas McCormick. One for two in the game. He scored two runs. 46 is a swing and a miss. Strike three. Two gone, and here is Martin Maldonado doubled and singled. Ground ball back to Sessa, who secures it and throws the first. Three outs. Top of the six. Yankees down by four. We're at the top of the New York batting order. And it's going to be Gardner, Urshela, and Judge. Yankees have three hits, and Garcia has struck out seven Yankees and has not walked anybody. Here's the pitch to Gardy. 5-2 is a ground ball to third base. Or X strikeout. He's got the X. So it's a strikeout. Gardner, you turn back to the duckout. Actually, that's a ninth strikeout. Here's Giovanni Urshela. High fly ball to right field. Kyle Tucker has it measured and makes the catch. Two up and two down. Here is Aaron Judge. Judge lets a fly ball to center field. Three up and three down for the Yankees. Bottom of the six, 4 0 Houston. All right, Jeremy Pena leads off for Houston. He is hitting 250 in the project so far with two home runs. Two RBIs and a stolen base. He leads off against Luis Sessa. Back to pitch. Another inning. This will be his fatigue inning as a ready reliever. 23 is a ground ball to third base. Throw from Marcella. He is out. Michael Brantley. He hits it on the ground to the shortstop. Glebor Torres on the play. Two up and two gone on two ground outs. Here's Jose Altuve. And he gets on on the ground back to Sessa, the pitcher. Three up and three down for the Astros. Top of the seventh, four to nothing, Houston. All right, DJ LeMahieu leads off for the Yankees. He has three gold clubs in his career and two batting titles, one in the National League, one in the American League. His teammate, Gary Sanchez calls him La Machine. He is such a consistent hitter. 2 4 is a fly ball to center field. Chaz McCormick retreats but makes the catch. Eight Yankees retired in a row by Luis Garcia, who shows no signs of fatiguing, but he is at his fatigue point. Here is Gleyber Torres, 1 4. Fly ball to left. Two fly outs and two outs for the Yankees. The batter is Edwin Encarnacion. That's a strikeout. Ten strikeouts for Luis Garcia. Seventh inning stretch time. Astros four and the Yankees nothing. Let's all stand up and stretch and listen to Lori sing for us the Take me out to the ball game show while we look at some things that might be coming up on the channel soon. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jack. I don't care if I ever get back for his root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes around at the old ball game. That's right, I've downloaded all kinds of Fast Drive football teams, the 2022 season, the Fast Drive offerings of all the Super Bowl teams, and the 2022 college teams. So maybe some fast drive coming up soon on the channel. Jordan Alvarez steps into the batter's box for Houston. He gets a hit call and roll here. This could be more trouble. 53 is a double for Jordan Alvarez. He is one for three with a double walk. 
couple strikeouts. Here's Kyle Tucker. That'll do it for Sessa. The Yankees will go to the bullpen and bring in a lefty, uh, Chad Green, grade C, pitcher, X, Y, strikeout modifiers, and Z, control modifier. Pitching to left-handed pit hitter, Kyle Tucker, negative five against lefty, so Green will be a B for this batter. And also gets the bump up for middle of the inning of relieving. So he'll actually be an A pitcher pitching to Kyle Tucker. One batter only. 34 is a fly ball to center field. Center fielder is Cameron Mabin. He is feeling column one. If that was C, that feeling column C, that would have been a, or B, three. Feeling column three, that would have been a base hit. One out. Here is Alex Bregman. One four is a ball lifted to left field. Alvarez will hold at second. Two outs. Julieski Guriel. 51 is a 9. Guriel is plus 3 against lefty, so that makes Green a B pitcher. And that 9 is going to be a base hit. Alvarez scores. That runs charge to Sessa. Our guy single for Guriel. He's 2 for 4 with now with an RBI. And it's 5 to nothing in Houston. Martin Maldonado, 52. That's a ground out to third base. One run on two hits. Top of the eighth, 5 nothing in Houston. All right, do it for the Yankees is Sanchez, Mabin, and Hicks. Bottom of the order. They need base runners. And there's a drive by Sanchez. It might be. It could be. It is out of here. The Yankees are on the board. It's just a solo home run. You can't hit a five-run five home run. 5-1 Astros. Here's Cameron Mabin. Maybe it's a deep drive to left field. Bentley back to the track, makes the catch. One out. That's two marks against uh, Garcia's fatigue, the hit, and then they run as well. One more, his grade will go down to a grade D. Aaron Hicks, 3-5, is a 40. Chaz McCormick is the center fielder in for Houston, and he makes the play. Anything less, he's a three-rated APA center fielder, which is a feeling column one. Two would have been a single, and feeling column three would have been a double. So good play by Chaz McCormick. One, uh, two outs, top of the order, for Brett Gardner. Base hit for Gardy. Yankees need base runners. And Garcia is now tired. Our right, Houston's going to go to the bullpen and bring in Ryan Stanek, a great A-B pitcher, X and W modifiers. He's made one appearance in this tournament, at least one, but the one he had against uh, the Nationals didn't go well. He pitched to two batters, gave up a homer and a double. Ryan Stanek from St. Louis, Missouri, 1.15 earned run average. Pitching to Gio Urshela with two outs and a run on first. 3-4 is a high fly ball to Chaz McCormick in center field. Makes the catch. One run on two hits for the Yankees. Bottom of the eighth inning is 5-1, Houston. Tommy Canley will pitch the bottom of the eighth inning for the Yankees. He'll be facing Molnado, Pena, and Brantley. Houston up by four runs. 3-6 is a... Pop-up on the infield. DJ Mayhew takes charge and catches the pop-up. One gone. Top of the order for Houston. And Jeremy Pena. Pena hits a drive down the right field line and into the corner. He will get a double out of it. That's his first hit of the game. He reached by Aaron Walk previously. But he's in scoring position with one down. Here's Mickey Brantley. Brantley pulls a ground ball to first base. Encarnacion fields it. Goes to the bag unassisted. While Pena goes to third. Two outs. And here is Jose Altuve. 
All right, Altuve is a negative four, so that makes Canley a great A pitcher, and that's a ground out to third base. No runs on one hit, one left. Top of the ninth, 5-1 Astros. Houston will call on Brian Abreu to pitch the top of the ninth inning. He'll be facing Aaron Judge, DJ LeMahieu, and Glabor Torres. Houston trying to win their fourth game in a row, and they're getting in the conversation here of getting into the standings. Here's a pitch to Aaron Judge. 1-2 is a ground ball to his second base. Judge is retired, and he goes 0 for 4 today. DJ LeMahieu. Line drive to left, base hit for DJ. LeMahieu is 2 for 4 on the day. Glabor Torres. That's a hit column roll for Glabor Torres. And 4 6 is a double. LeMahieu will stop at third. No reason to take a chance here. His run's not important. Second and third, and Edwin Encarnacion, 34 homers in 2019, will come up. The Astros will play the infield back, hoping to avoid a big, big inning. I'll drive you into the stretch. Here's the pitch. There's a drive. It might be. It could be. It is out of here. Three-run bomb by Edwin Encarnacion brings the Yankees to within one. Astros five, Yankees four. Here's Gary Sanchez. He's gone deep already, but not before a pitching change. That's going to be closer Ryan, uh, yeah, Ryan Presley, grade B pitcher, K modifier. One down, three in. Here's the pitch to Gary Sanchez. 2-4 is a swing and a miss. Presley strikes out Sanchez for the second out. Here's Cameron Mabin, potential tie and run. I right, think he's going to set up a pitch hitter for maybe a lefty to face the right-hander, Brian Presley. That's going to be D.D. Gregorius, 16 homers and 324 at-bats. He's got a little more power than Mabern. Gregorius represents the potential tie and run. Here's the pitch from Presley to D.D. Gregorius. Fly ball to right field. It's going to stay in the park and be caught by Kyle Tucker for the final out. The Yankees go down. They made some noise in the ninth. Three runs on three hits. But that's the ball game. Final score, Astros 5 and the Yankees 4. All right, today's game, a game where the Houston Astros extend their King of the Hill State to four games to no losses, four wins and no losses. The Yankees had four runs on eight hits and one error. The Astros had... Five runs, 10 hits, and no errors. Winning pitcher was Luis Garcia, seven and two-thirds, gave up a run, and the loser is Luis Sessa for the Yankees. Home runs in the game by Juan Encarnacion, a three-run homer in the ninth. That was it. The star of the game is the pitcher Luis Garcia. Wait, the Yankees are eliminated, or they, they failed to play the role of Spoiler, so they could not advance in this tournament. The Astros go on. A roll of 12 and 10 sided die to see who the next spoiler opponent will be. And this could this King of the Hill contest goes goes forward. Whatever comes up on the 12 and 10 side dice, we are getting the 12 die first. Whichever team is closest to that that has not yet played in the King of the Hill tournament will get a chance to knock off the Astros. All right, we rolled a 10-7. That could be 07 in the 1900s. Could be 2007. It's going to be Justin Verlander against Jeff Francis of the Colorado Rockies. Join us for that one tomorrow. If the Astros win two more games, let's see, they'll be 6-0, and oh, and that will end the regular season a tournament because uh, they'll be in first place and they'll be in the World Series. Now, if they go 5-0, and oh, they have, they've not got much in the run differential. If they go 5-1 and one in the tournament, they may not make the World Series unless they blow out the Rockies tomorrow. 
All right, join us for that one. Have a good day and may God bless.